Today we decided to check out Sea Wolf Park in Galveston, Texas. On the way, we decided to stop at Bucky's. If you've never been to a Bucky's before, if you see one on your road trip, you definitely need to make a stop. Bucky's is not your regular gas station. It's definitely set some world records in terms of biggest convenience store in the world, longest car washes in the world, and just in general, uh, everything you would ever need on your road trip is inside a Bucky's. Take a look. On our way to Sea Wolf Park, we crossed the Galveston Causeway, which was built in 1939. The original causeway was built in 1912, and you can just see the top of the train bridge on the left. Here's an overview of Sea Wolf Park. Sea Wolf Park is located on Galveston's Pelican Island on a former immigration station site. The park offers some of the island's most popular fishing piers, picnic sites, and playgrounds. The park is also home to tourist attractions including the World War II submarine, the USS Kavala, and one of the three destroyer escorts in the world, the USS Stewart. Sea Wolf Park sits on the north side of Galveston Harbor. You can see the north part of Galveston in the distance. Here you see the USS Kavala which is best known for sinking the Japanese aircraft carrier Shokaku, which participated in the attack on Pearl Harbor. Here you see the USS Stewart, who was commissioned in 1943 and decommissioned in 1947. The USS Stewart did numerous tours of convoy duty during World War II. The Galveston Port Bolivar Ferry takes travelers on State Highway 87 between Galveston Island and the Bolivar Peninsula. The service is free. Here you see one of the ferries heading toward Galveston. Along with the fishing pier, Sea Wolf Park has many places that people can visit for the day. Steel shortages during World War I led the U.S. to build experimental concrete ships, the largest of which was the SS Selma. The ship was launched on June 28, 1919, the same day Germany signed the Treaty of Versailles, officially ending World War I. As a result, the 7,500-ton ship never entered World War I. Instead, it was placed in the service as an oil tanker in the Gulf of Mexico. In Tampico, Mexico, on May 31, 1920, the SS Selma hit a jetty, ripping a hole in its hull about 60 feet long. After attempts to repair the ship in Galveston failed and efforts to sell the ship proved unsuccessful, U.S. officials decided to intentionally scuttle the ship. A channel 1,500 feet long and 25 feet deep was dug a point just off Pelican Island's eastern shore, where on March 9, 1922, the ship was laid to rest. Well, I hope you enjoyed this visit to Sea Wolf Park. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's always about travel, food, and photography. And don't forget to go ahead and hit the notification bell so you can see when I post new videos. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.